Welcome back to the F5 series on DNS denial of service attacks. I'm Nathan Meyer representing the F5 DNS product management team. So in the last session we talked a little bit about query attacks where a lot of attackers flood directly the DNS server they're attacking with a many many queries and the more queries they send the more the queue fills up on the DNS server and the more of the good queries that are dropped preventing clients from getting to the site. Well, now we're going to talk about a little bit more sophisticated way of attacking. So on one method, the query attack, the attackers directly connect and they send lots of queries. Well, in the reflection attack, the attackers are taking advantage of a vulnerability in the underlying protocol used for DNS. Remember we talked a little about it's like a package. You send a package and every package has a mailing address. You give it the destination address and you also put a return address so the person you're sending the message to can send back a response. What if you put a different return address on that package? Could you then trick somebody into sending the package to somewhere else? And this is sort of the idea of a reflection attack. In this case, the attackers send out a DNS request to another DNS server, a completely different site. But they're tricky because in the response, in the source IP address, they say it came from and they put a different address and the address is of their target. So the idea is all of these different attackers are sending queries directly to the site with an incorrect or spoofed return address. Now this server is going to respond normally. It thinks it's sending back a legitimate response. And it thinks it's sending it back to the people who sent it. But since the return address is wrong, it's been spooked, it's been incorrectly applied, this server is actually going to send all of its responses to a different server who never asked for it. This server never asked for these responses. Why would they do that? Well, one of the reasons is something called amplification, which we'll talk a little bit more in the next segment. One more key point I really want to point out on reflection. On the query attack, it's a query coming into the DNS server. DNS servers are meant to handle queries. On a reflection attack, the information that's being sent back is responses, responses that weren't asked for. In the DNS normal operation section, we talked about how a local DNS server is a resolver, and it asks for a response. It's expecting a response. When a server gets too many responses it never asked for, Usually, it has to spend a lot of time processing and trying to figure out why it got a package. So if you imagine that you're at your house and suddenly thousands of packages showed up on your doorstep and someone just sent them to you and you have no idea why, you'd have to spend a lot of time trying to figure out what to do with those packages. Right? So hopefully, if you have a really good DNS server, it would be set up to automatically reject all those packages and not try to answer them, not try to process them, not try to... Uh, have that come in. The other part of a reflection attack, which is part of amplification, which I'll get to in a minute, is to fill up this pipe with all of these responses so that that internet link is now full of all these responses so this server can no longer send out or get good client queries. Alright, 